Okay. Okay, right. whenever you're ready. Okay. So, hello everybody out there. I'm Tim Sullivan. Welcome to the first edition of Shock and Roll. And I'm starting out with a bang with none other than a master of horror, Mr. Tom Holland. Hello, how are you? <laughs> nice to be here with you. But we yes. thought it would be fun for you guys to see what masters of horror do in their natural habitat. We get together and we are fans, first and foremost. So we get together and we uh, eat pizza. And what do we watch tonight? We watched uh, Boris Karloff, a uh, thriller, to see the wraparounds and to see yes. what that was like. It's terrific. It's black and white. It has a great look. But it still is it's still sort of old-fashioned horror. Yeah. And then we moved to Hammer Films and the Jimmy Sangster films of the early 60s that were a reaction to and have been influenced by Psycho. And these, it, it, it's like two different styles of horror films you're, you're watching in the same year. They have this great film on there that you may not have heard of called Paranoic from 1962 with Oliver Reed. One of his first, if not his first films, and you look at it and you know why Oliver Reed became a star. It's so edgy, it's so fresh, there's so many twists and turns. Just when you think you got it figured out, they, you know, something else comes up. All, all in a very limited set. Yeah. Wide screens, black and white, but Freddie Francis directed it. Freddie Francis, who was like a wonderful cinematographer, like one of the two or three leading cinematographers. I forget what he shot, but I know he shot for, for, for David Lee. Huge yeah. cinematographer that they had directing at Hammer because they gave him a, ch a chance to direct. And, uh, and he would light it. I found out that he was the DP, but he had to use a pseudonym because he weren't allowed to have two credits. But a terrific, edgy film, some really scary, twisted surprises at the end. Oliver Reed is just really screwed up and he may or may not have killed his younger brother and he's trying to drive his sister crazy in order to inherit it. And there's a crazy aunt who dresses up like a little boy in an altar boy's outfit and plays the organ and sings. And but it's a transitional film. You can see everything in it from Dr. Fives to, to, to yeah. Psycho to, and, the, the, and yet it's Jane Eyre at the same time. Weathering Heights. Weathering so, Heights, yeah. So anyway, for those who love horror, check out Paranoic. And definitely, this just, you know, everybody, Twilight Zone, Outer Limits, all that kind of stuff. Not too many people know that Boris Karloff, towards the end of his life, actually hosted what Stephen King says is the best horror series ever put on TV. I guess he hasn't seen Sarah Palin's show. This is... Oh my God. ...the original Bat from Fright Night. But that's wow. The bat. Isn't that spectacular? That is... Even I think that's terrific. That and is then, the bat. Then bring it over here now, swirl around over there, and here on one side so they can see it really well. Now get yes. closer and go Let's in on this closer. side. Yeah, direct that, me, Tom, direct that me. That is, there you go, get a good shot. Oh, wow, you, look at that. I'll drop that out. Look at That's that. That's the werewolf effect from Stephen Jeffrey's uh, transition in Fright Night. That's, That's right. the original. Not only is today the first edition of Shock and Roll, but it is also the release date of a very good buddy of ours, yes. Adam Green. Hatchet 2, it's a terrific film. Adam Green is a, is a terrific writer, director. It's comedy horror, which I think is an emerging an emerging genre. Splastic. And, and believe it or not, I'm in it. Yes. I'm in it as an actor. He is, he definitely, he play Uncle Bob. <laughs> He's great. He's great in the movie. This is literally the movie the MPA did not want you to see so badly that they ripped it out of theaters. So if you blinked, you didn't get a chance to see it in the theater. So today's the day. Don't pirate it. Right, right. Don't steal Don't it. Don't it, no. You know, no. instead, you know, take that money you would have put on that bag of condoms and that bag of dope and, you know, pull out and stay straight. It's, it's cheaper than the dope. <laughs> And get and go out there and buy Hatchet 2 on Blu-ray or DVD. Support indie horror because if you don't, not only is he going to kick your ass and Victor Crowley, Kane Hunter, are going to kick your ass, but there will be no more indie horror films, and you will be you will be condemned to a life of Michael Bay remakes of classic <laughs> horror films like Fright Night. Thank you. Take care. See ya. And uh, <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Very good.